Reps, sets, and rest periods. These are very common words that you'll see when going through a workout program. The number one thing to know is what a rep is. So we'll use a bicep curl as an example. This single bicep curl is a single rep. You might see common rep instructions such as eight to 12. That means you wanna do eight to 12 bicep curls and that will complete one set. So you will often see a certain number of sets prescribed. Commonly, you might see three sets or four sets. That means you wanna do eight to 12 reps three to four times. And in between those sets is your rest period. It's very important to rest between each set because you really wanna push each set almost to failure. So if you're doing eight to 12 reps and you can get to 12 reps and you just stop, it's a good indicator that you need to increase your weight. And this is a common mistake that newbies make. They get to that 12, they just stop. They think that they hit their top and that they're doing as good as they should. But really, those last few reps you want to be very difficult to perform while maintaining good form. So if you find yourself at that upper number every single time, increase that weight. Your number of reps might drop down, and they should, and that's okay, that's perfect. This is how you get your progressive overload and you increase your strength. The rest periods are very important so that you have enough strength to go into your next set and do the best that you can. Make sure you use a timer because if you don't use a timer, your rest periods might get really long and it's gonna drag out your workout or they might be too short and you're cutting your rest period short and your overall strength is not optimized. Rest, sets, and reps. Reps, sets, and rest.